I'm making the heartbreaking decision to leave my family. I'm typing this in a mix of fear and nerves. I am the youngest 22 of 5 kids M30, M28, F28 twins and F25. My parents are heavily religious and we live in Utah. Growing up, everything had to be done perfectly it didn't matter if it was grades, looks, social activities or even friends. I'm different from my siblings as I was never interested in the maths and science like they were. I've always been the writer, the painter. I remember once when I was 13, I made a painting of a dove in a snowy field and won first in the competition. I told my parents who got angry that I had wasted my time with something so worthless when I should have been using the time to study. I still had as in every class. My mother won't even say more than a few words to me, she's always seems like she hates me and I don't understand. Father burned the painting to remind me of what was truly important before taking all of my art supplies until I showed more responsibility with my time. It's been like this as long as I can remember. I work full time, and have since I was 15 at McDonald's dashing every bit of money I could. Father took half my checks as tithing to help teach me what being an adult was like. I applied to several colleges but was told by my parents that they would not be helping me with tuition as they did for my siblings because they thought sending me to college would just be a waste of money. So I got angry. I am so tired of being the black sheep just because I like the arts more than maths and science. And then, I heard them talking when I got up in the middle of the night about the perfect man they'd found who was willing to take me in. Through our church, I am terrified, and so am leaving. I've got some money saved up, a good amount and am leaving the country. I found a job that lets me work remote doing freelance design work and I've had my passport since I was a kid because of our family vacations overseas. I'm taking nothing other than a change of clothes, my laptop and important documents I took out of my father's office. I booked a flight that leaves in 5 hours and am never coming back. I'm not even going to take my phone since it need to get a new number anyway. My best friend, God bless her, had been the one booking things and getting everything ready since I couldn't tip off my parents. She's also smuggled some of my more important things I can't take to hold on to for me. She's parking down the street and I'll leave with my smallest suitcase to meet her. I don't know how they'll take this, I'm terrified they'll find a way to drag me back, or track me down. They went to bed over an hour ago, but I'm too anxious to sleep. I don't know if they'll have any updates, but I just hope they don't stop me. My mother didn't understand the concept of punctuality and was late on every occasion of our lives, now she's livid because I got her a special invitation for my wedding. My parents are late for everything, like everything. Both my sister and I have been disappointed so many times. Graduation ceremonies, birthday parties, and even my father's retirement dinner. It is completely my mother's fault. She is a wonderful mother, and I love her dearly, she just does not understand the concept of punctuality. I saw her talking to her sister on the phone and reminded her that she needed to be at my baby sister's dance recital. She waved me off and arrived after my sister had danced. We are all used to it. My dad is just done trying to get her on time for anything. My now wife told me in no uncertain terms that if my mother were late for our wedding, she would do terrible things to me. She was only half joking, but she was a witness to my mom and dad arriving halfway through my cousin's quinceanera. So here is what I did. It is completely on me. My wife was not involved. If there is a PP move, it was completely mine. When we were getting samples for the wedding, I talked to the printer and had one special invitation printed with the time on it stating one hour earlier than the actual start time of the ceremony. My mother was beside herself when they left the house and thought they would miss the wedding since she was a part of it with her and my mother-in-law lighting the candles we would use to light the unity candle and stuff. When she arrived and noticed other people were also just arriving and parking, she was so relieved that we were starting late that she just went with it. The ceremony went off beautifully, and so did the wedding pictures and the reception. The problem came last Sunday, my parents came over for a big family dinner, and we only bothered to start the grill once they showed up. She asked why everyone wasn't eating, and we just said we knew we would be waiting for them since they were always late.